The Veteran Car Rally has been making its annual run to Brighton since 1896, the year that Lord Winchelsea tore to shreds the red flag that enforced a speed limit of no more than four miles per hour. It still ranks as Britain's, if not the world's, biggest motoring event. And some of the world's most famous drivers, Malcolm Campbell, for instance, have been honoured to take part in a run not without its hazards. The Brighton Run is still an amateur event in the strictest sense of the term, and as such, embodies something of Britain's traditional values and way of life in an increasingly commercialised world. The London to Brighton Veteran Car Run 1972, the 76th anniversary of the event. And you have to admit it, the old contenders are showing signs of age, though well preserved. Even so, a record 250 veterans roar away from the starting line, undaunted by wind and rain and all the dangers ahead. Westminster Bridge and only 50 miles to go. A Woolsey, 1902. A 1903, Clermont. An Argyle. And a Mercedes. A 1903 Daimler driven by Lord Montague. And whatever else one might say about these brave ancients, it's doubtful whether the present generation will do as well 70 years on. Only 15 out of the 250 starters fail to finish. A 1903 Lanchester crosses the finishing line, followed by Lord Montague's Daimler. Graham Hill admitted to having to clean the plugs and stop for petrol, but as he said, they didn't crash. His distinguished passenger, Dora Bryan. Now for next year's rally.